गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे नाउ वी स्टार्ट विथ द लास्ट मेथड ऑफ गुडविल वी हैव लर्न अप टिल नाउ द एवरेज मेथड वेटेड एवरेज मेथड सुपर प्रॉफिट मेथड कैपिटलाइजेशन मेथड नाउ टुडे द लास्ट मेथड दैट वॉट वी आर लर्निंग सुपर प्रॉफिट कैपिटलाइजेशन मेथड टुडे अवर क्लास चैप्टर थ्री क्लास सिक्स वी कंटिन्यू विथ सुपर प्रॉफिट कैपिटलाइजेशन मेथड For this, you have to prepare a statement showing computation of goodwill, as we used to prepare in capitalization method. In the same manner, here also the statement to be prepared. In this statement, the step number one, that capital employed to be found, if directly given in the question, then you write that, or if it is mentioned the total asset, then. total asset minus total liability give you the amount of capital employed the second step is expected rate of return this figure also given in the example itself the third step is different than capitalized method in this you have to find out expected profit expected profit is equal to capital employed that what is the answer of your step number 1 multiplied with expected rate of return that is the step number 2 this will give you expected profit the fourth step average profit if the figures are average profit method figure then you take that if the figures are rising profit method then you can take even the weighted average profit method here the average profit is equal to total profit upon the number of years so that calculation will give you the average profit last super profit we have to find out this is the another different point than the capitalized method that here we are finding super profit is equal to average profit that is point number 4 answer minus expected profit that is point number 3 answer so step 4 minus step 3 is equal to super profit that is the figure what you are deriving goodwill as per this method is equal to super profit that is answer of your step 5 multiplied with 100 upon expected rate of return your formula is super profit upon expected rate of return and because the rate is in percentage we multiplied with it 100 that give you the your goodwill amount now one thing to be kept in mind that if the super profit is zero or negative in that case there is no goodwill exist in the business if you remember in the last method capitalized method also we have written the same note that when there is a zero profit then we have to consider there is no goodwill is it clear so what is the difference you have found from the capitalized method and super profit capitalized method the difference is of the point number 3 that in this method super profit method we calculate point number 3 that is expected profit and the second difference is that if we that super profit instead of the capitalized profit here what we do that we find the super profit instead of capitalized profit in last method we used to do the capitalized profit here we are applying the formula for super profit these are the two point of difference you have to keep in mind so when you do your example make sure which method is asked accordingly the statement to be prepared now let us see based on this the question number 11 question 11 it is there in your textbook on page number 106 see the question determine the value of the goodwill of prabha and the prabhu's firm on the basis of capitalized super profit method capital employed directly given 9 lakh so no need to apply that formula of 
total asset minus total liability you have the clear answer second expected rate of return 12 percent so 12 by 100 to be considered the last year profits are mentioned 2012 13 13 14 14 15 and here the profits are 1 lakh 1 lakh 40 thousand 1 lakh 30 thousand 150 and 180 because there is a 140 and after that 130 we have to follow only average method no need for any upper weighted average method see here the working that we have to prepare the statement showing computation of the goodwill uh, step number particulars and the amount rupees the first step capital employed in our example it is clearly given 9 lakh so straight write down second step expected rate of return so that is what given in the question itself that is your 12 percent so write down third step expected profit expected profit the formula is capital employed multiplied by expected rate of return so what is your capital employed it is 9 lakh that is what given as per example so 9 lakh into 12 percent so 12 by 100 is equal to your 1 lakh 8 thousand so here the three steps are over now the fourth as we said the figures are indicating that you have to follow the average method so average profit is equal to total profit divided by number of year so whatever the data given in question copy the year copy the profit do the total total comes 7 lakh so your average profit is equal to 7 lakh divided by 5 that is 1 lakh 40 thousand that to be put in outer column 1 lakh 40 thousand the fifth step super profit super profit is equal to average profit minus expected profit we have worked out average profit in our step number 4 that is 1 lakh 40 thousand and your second expected profit that what we have calculated in our step number 3 that is 1 lakh 8 thousand so your super profit is equal to 140 minus 1 lakh 8 thousand is equal to 32 thousand so super profit comes 32 thousand now the last goodwill the formula for the goodwill is that super profit upon expected rate of return so here super profit as per our calculation number uh, 5 that is your 32,000 upon expected rate of return is 12 so upon 12 into 100 because 12 percent so into 100 your answer comes that is 2666.67 uh, 6. so when you have point 5 or more than that you can go to the next digit so your figure is 2,66,667 we are changing the last digit from 6 to 7 so your answer for the goodwill is 2,67,667 is your goodwill in this manner we have learned all the 5 types of calculation of goodwill method and with this our chapter gets over today your homework is you have to go through with the illustration 8 and illustration 9 the page numbers are of illustration 8 100 and 9101 in that illustration 9 you come to know that a same figure when mentioned and if you apply the different different method of goodwill how the total amount of goodwill vary so you will get the comparative idea about the calculation of goodwill so according to the business need the right method of goodwill to be adopted and based on the calculation of goodwill the partners are going to get benefit when they are admitting a partner or when the partner is retiring accordingly the amount of goodwill to be shared among the partners as per gain ratio or sacrifice ratio whatever is required so this chapter is the base chapter for our 
upcoming chapters that is admission and retirement so all these methods are part of the whole question this is not going to be a separate question separate question may be asked for two mark or a three mark that calculate goodwill <coughs> but application of this calculation of goodwill you need in a chat chapter number admission and our retirement only as a small part of calculation of figure of goodwill i hope you all understood any doubt or difficulties are there you let me know so we can clarify